Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here. Welcome you back to more fighting. We're trying to get out of this castle in Secret of Mana right now. I think this is part 28, but I'm not entirely certain about that. I don't know. <laughs> For some reason, I always seem to get, like, whenever it gets to the episode 20s of any LP, I just start to get bamboozled with the numbers. Once we're past that, once we're in the 30s, I get back on track, but I don't know. Something about the 20s is just so weird, like the way the 2 curves and the 2 different ways you can write the number 2. It's just so weird. Mm, ooh, this is fanciful. I probably should have killed that guy before going for these chests, but uh, he won't be too much of an issue. Except when he multiplies himself. I didn't even realize there were two in here in the first place. Man. <laughs> you know, for how big and lumbering and freaky these guys are, they're not really that menacing, apparently. Like, they seem to go down relatively easily here. They do keep spawning, though, it seems. I don't know. Got axes or bull. I'm just gonna get the heck out of dodge now. Hope you don't mind. Oh, charge! I'm still charging! I'm still charging! I'm holding the run button! Let me out. Please? Okay, this guy is seriously blocking the door. <laughs> and it's only because I pushed him into it, but still. Could you just get out of the way, please? I just, I just want to... I don't want to have to kill you. I really don't. Uh, okay, thank... Dude, if I can get past you now, that would be nice. Thank you. Oh, my face is itchy. I've got, like, fur all over my face from my cat. Ugh. Does that ever happen to anyone else? I'm sure it does. I don't know. I seem to be sensitive to, like, so many itch-prone things. It's weird. Alright, so... That way to the right didn't yield any results. Let's see if going to the left will yield anything better. Because there's only so, ma so many ways we can go at this point. I'm pretty sure. Is this the way we came out of? I seem to... This looks vaguely familiar. Um... Yeah, this is the prison cell. Okay. So I need to head through the middle, then? And to, like, one of those side doors? This place is, like... It's laid out really strangely. Like, it's hard, it feels like it would be hard to find your way around, but it's actually pretty intuitive when you're playing it. I don't know, but when you're watching it, it's too intuitive. But, dude, what is this guy about? What was that? Oh my gosh, he's the invisible man. Is he like a ninja of some sort? He's not very good at his profession if he is. <laughs> man. Oh, he finally got something in on me. Well, there you go. I want to see how much HP that guy had. Jeez. Alright, is this the way I headed before? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Because I'm pretty sure there were guards blocking the path earlier here. Oh, man. Someone in the comments said that they were gonna, that they were really excited for the next video here. So, I'm kind of in anticipation. In anticipation, I'm waiting with bated breath here to see what might come of events. Oh, this looks very pristine. <laughs> Why did they hide behind the carpets? Dark ninja, okay. So they are ninjas. <laughs> but only for like the first second of the battle, and then when you hit them, they're like, okay, I give up. <laughs> I can't fool you anymore. I guess that's smart, though, because like... Well, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to find them very easily if they stayed invisible. Hey, level 34. Not bad. Mm, oh, someone else leveled up there, too. We got more of these books to deal with. There's Sydney. Uh, Sydney and Argo must be like less than a hundred experience difference apart from each other or something, because they just level up at like pretty much the same time every time. Hmm. There's more to this place than meets the eye, I guess. I'm not gonna deal with that guy even. Whoa. <laughs> I feel like it seems like each floor has its own motif sort of thing. Like that second floor felt more. I don't know. It felt more swampy or something. Just with all the colors, the greens and blues, and this place feels more regal. With like the purple, the royal purple. And the color of the pen was royal blue. <laughs> I need to watch that movie again. Alright, I, I know these guys spawn seemingly infinitely, so I'm not even going to bother with them for now. I mean, I'll stun them on my way past, but that's about it. That's about all I can take from you guys. Oh my god. Okay, there's got to be a door around here. Oh, or a staircase, that works too. I'll take a, either way. Okay, now we're back to this, like, swampy motif again. I don't know, it just feels swampy to me. Like, I can't describe that at all. It kind of actually feels almost 
Celestic? That's not a word, is it? Celestic? Celestia? Cel Celtic? It's not Celtic, I know that much. Celtic. Whatever that is. Well, at least Edge reached level 34. <laughs> Man. Cerebral? No, that has to do with the brain. It's some... I'm trying to say it has to do... It's like heavenly, almost. I, but not that. Not heavenly in the religious sense. Heavenly in the scientific sense. Was that a teleport? I guess so. Dude, I can just like push these guys around? That's funny. Is this a, some sort of... What the hell? Okay, apparently <laughs> I'm being rejected by the tell. I didn't know that could happen. They're like, no, defeat that ninja first or something. I mean, there's a flying ninja too. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't have time for your bursting nonsense. Oh, he's dead. Okay, can I do this now? No sorry, Bob. Okay, there must be a different way to go then. Is this a teleport puzzle? Because it seems like I'm just, like, warping around the same area here. Okay, I obviously can't do that. What if I head around the other way? Wasn't there another way to go down here? Somehow, some way, over the rainbow. Dude, out of my face. Yeah, I could just head straight up here, but then there's two teleports here. That one kicks me off. What about this one? That also kicks me off. Well, what the hell? What? Is there some... Okay, I gotta get rid of these ninjas first. Okay. Oh, hey, that's nice. Will this be a nice ice key that I can use to progress? No, it's just candy. I'll take it. Alright, let's see if we can, like, cast... Some... Okay, I can't cast anything. But, what do I do? Because these things reject me. I got that much. I'm not... Is there, like, a way to leap over them? Can I go... Did I go down? I came from down that way. Up here, this one actually does something for me. It teleports me. But the place this... Unless I can go down. I am just bamboozled here. Because I can't do... Hmm. This could take some minor thinking here. What? Okay, now I can walk across that. What was going bad before there? That, that is so weird. We may just have to touch all the switches. I don't know. Either way, it looks like I figured something out here. Oh, all of you guys. Oh, man. Hmm, I guess you're the real thing. Sir, one more chance, please. I don't remember any of my voices for these guys. Why not finish them up and come to the palaces? Oh, not you again. <laughs> Are you going to ride in your same nightly horse thing that we fought you in before? Where'd he go? There. Yeah, he is. Oh, my God, look at this. <laughs> he just totally hasn't learned his lesson. He's probably just a bit stronger this time, isn't he? mech rider. I'll show you how to ride a mech when you're dead. Burn. Oh, dude, I am getting my ass kicked. Okay, uh, first, I gotta heal. Why'd I switch to Sydney? I don't even know. Couldn't tell you if you asked me. And now I want to analyze him, because that's one of the number one things I want to do with basically any boss. This arena is much more designed for his style of fighting, I guess, than the first time we fought him. Alright, so analyze. Let's give it a go. In the meanwhile, I'll just do this to him. Oh, man, he's just frozen there. Okay, he doesn't have much... So he's not weak to anything, which is fantastic. You know, with the sarcasm. Okay, but even if he's not weak to anything, I sh should still be able to do some stuff to him here. Hopefully bring him down. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. Fireball. Fireball? Of course we're going to need uh, to fix this up. Remedy this situation. Alright. Uh, I feel. I almost feel like I should stay on one side of the arena. Like that one ninja Gaiden boss where you stay on one side of the arena and it's much easier to fight him. Might be the same case here. I keep getting knocked out by that guy though. Probably because he keeps running me over. That might knock me unconscious too. I break my leg or something? Oh, not speed up again. Shoot. Alright, maybe if I, I can use this, this running technique actually to get across. <laughs> and then of course I just gotta run all the way back. Okay, well if I can do this and then cast on him. Cast something, anything on him. Oh, let's try 
Sorry, I said freeziness. Freezy goodness. Freeze him in his tracks. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he just storms off all huffy. Huffy the magic dragon. Yeah, buddy. I have a feeling that's not the end of our fight here, though. I have a feeling it's not just going to be Geshtar. Call it a noble gas's intuition or what have you, but Javelin's Orb. I'm going to have so much to give to Watts. Apparently he's in the inn, and I think I recognize that. I'm going to burn up this whole place! No! What? You can't just... It's made of stone. You can't just burn it. What's that sound? Huh? Truffle? Oh, Truffle! It was that dude! Oh my god. The... Really? Where? Okay, where is he? I can't... I don't know where to go! Just run! Run for your life! There he is! Oh my god, King Truffle. Mm. I assume you rode the dragon. Oh my god, I'm so right. Huh. He thinks you're... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> well, I guess if it could happen to a Metroid, it could happen to a dragon, too. Wait, really? Oh my god, is this like... Whoa. Whoa, oh my god. Jeez, oh my god, he's so big. Holy cow. What? What? <laughs> I'm so... Are... You're, you're serious. I... You're... What? <laughs> I am at a loss for words. I didn't... I am... Riding on the winds of time. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, where's Matango? I gotta take him back. I don't even know. I can't tell, man. Jeez, this is great. What's over here? This is something else. Okay, Matango. What? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, but this music. I don't care where I'm going, because this music and this. This is just... This is just blowing my mind right now. I... <laughs> this is the worst commentary ever, because I'm just sitting here in complete... Completely dumbstruck by what I'm seeing on my screen right now. It feels like this is all just a whole different game, but it's just a whole new awesome mechanic to... A, an already awesome game! Oh my god. Okay. Let's try and dock here. How do I go down? Just like that. Okay. Um, wait, where is this? I gotta head back to Matango, right? This is, I think this is Pandora, the kingdom of Pandora, isn't it? That's what it seems like, it feels like that. Okay, so, I was kind of half paying attention, he did give me an item here, the Flammy Drum. I can just use that. I can use this anywhere I want, and this happens? <laughs> no. I... I don't know what is real anymore. What's here? Can I land here? Can I, can I just land anywhere I damn well please? Oh, hi. <laughs> Wanna let me back in? You're here I banished from Poto's Village. Well, what if I just land in there? <laughs> I could try that now. Holy cow. Yeah, Sydney, you bang that drum and... Oh my god, Flammy! Well, this is certainly much more convenient than freaking cannon travel. Now I just have to figure out my way around this world. I wasn't really paying attention to the world much before because it, it would just take me there automatically. But now I actually have to kind of focus here. This is so boss. Oh my god, okay. I've seriously got to find Matango now, though. Wherever that may be. Because I think he said to go there to like drop him off. What's this? It's like a little heart here. I want to land here. Yeah. Can I, I? I can't. Can I not? Maybe I have to position myself. Just I, dude. I can't do it. Oh, I can land there though. Um, oh, this is that place. Okay. What the hell is this though? This is definitely something new. <laughs> Screw Matango. I want to check out these oil sands, man. Caron's ferry out to lunch. Oh. 
Well, I guess I can't do much there then. Well, is that like something? I feel like that the, that that glowing spot there is like a crystal in the oil or something. I don't know. I just had an intuition, but I guess it was wrong. An instinct, rather. Holy cow. Wait, what about like the resistance and everything though? What what hap what's happening? I'm just so ecstatic with this new development. Like, oh my gosh. I didn't think they would ever do something that cool. I mean that's just insane. This is just it's unreal. <laughs> it looks so good too. I love the look of this. This is awesome. Just love the look and the feel and the everything. This is <laughs> this is my new favorite thing. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try some stuff, Flammy. <laughs> so awesome. Okay, maybe yes. Okay, let's see, I can do this. I just have to figure out what. Wow, this is a big old world. Oh my god, is there any way to like? know what place is what though like to identify a spot somehow let's try it. just buttons select no a um oh okay so that did something this this looks sort of useful um where do I can I like just pick a spot to Holy, what, dude, this is scrolling so strangely. So if I wanted to go up here, pick that spot. Uh, whoa, I'm rising. Okay. It might take me a little while to get used to this, guys, so just bear with me for now. Uh, actually, on second glance, I don't think this is it, but I'll give it a shot just to see where this lands me at least. This might be North Town or something. Where is this? Is this North Town? This is South Town Music. Unless North Town and South Town have like the same music, I think they do, because this hmm. Where does this go? This goes to the Okay, this is where it just was. That things happened and I earned the best thing ever to happen. Okay. Oh, let me see. Oh, I should find Watts here. Is he downstairs here? Maybe? Uh, yes, he is. Okay, here we go. Let's see how much stuff I have to get smelted here. Oh my gosh, this town smells like war. Found any new weapon orbs? Oh, you have no idea, friend. Alright, so we have the Moogle Claws. Should become... This is gonna be exciting. The Shakar Hand, and we can upgrade that again to, uh, get to the Heavy Glove. There you go. Uh, we have the Claymore now. And this will go into... Excalibur! Not bad. <laughs> Jeez. I suppose I don't really need to read out all these weapon names. Battle axe. That's cool. And a uh, golden golden axe. Nice. Okay. Oh, now for the sprite spear. Okay, this one's actually relatively important. Partisan. Ooh, I like that name. I almost don't want to upgrade it just for that. But let's see what the new name is. The halberd. Okay, I can dig that too. Chain whip. And the flail of hope. I just I want to use that now just because of that name. Not even kidding. But now it's the Morning Star, not quite as cool in my opinion. The long bow, composite bow, maybe I don't know. The great bow. Ooh, what's next after that? The heavy duty bow. The bow of hope. That's awesome. Anything with hope in the name is just, you know, it has to be good. That's all. What the the rising sun? Oh my god, that's like Okami or something. The red cleaver. Man, these items are getting good. Light trident. Oh, how can you upgrade from a light trident? to a load javelin. That just sounds weird because no one knows what a load is. The Fork of Hope. See, all this hope stuff, they know it's so good. Well, there you go. Actually, That actually costs quite a bit of money. Big sum of cash. What about you? See, so you make yourself at home. Well, thank you. It's very neighborly of you. Okay. I think I'm a little in over my head here with this whole flammy flying business. So what I think I'm going to do is... I think I'm just gonna... This this wasn't a very productive video. I, I mean, I just like pretty much just fangasmed over the whole thing the whole time. I don't know about fangasm, but I just went I went nuts over it the whole time. 
just so excited because that is a really awesome development that adds so much good feel to the game. I love it. And uh, so I'm going to save that. And I think I'll leave it up to you guys to tell me if there's some... I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go to Matango right now, but I'm not exactly sure. And I'm not sure... If I am supposed to go to Matango, then I'm not sure where that is in retrospect. Or in perspective to everything else. So, tell me where in this wide, wide world I could find Matango. And I'll be glad to go there or go wherever else I need be. There is a lot on this world, so I imagine there's a few places that I haven't even been yet. Like this oil sands thing, I don't even know what that's about right now. And there's this island over there. Is it like Krakatoa or something? Hmm. I guess we'll find that all out later, but uh... For now, I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and call it an episode. As much as I hate it, as much as I hate to leave off... With, oh, so... Just look at the animation and the... I don't even know. I've, I've run out of words to describe my feeling right now. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night. Okay guys, I'm doing this really quick. Um, I was in the middle of editing the episode that you just watched, I guess. And you just watched it end. And I felt like an idiot because I didn't realize that the dude said the Matango was to the southwest. So I'm going to head in that direction. Just so you guys don't have to worry about my idiocy here. That's canon travel. I'd have to locate this area exactly. Is this is this it here? This might be it. I'm not sure. <laughs> Man. Okay. okay, this looks relatively right. Is this cave, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. It's probably going to be a longer episode. Oh my god, what the hell? I don't think that's where I want to be. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I'm pretty... I don't think I've even been to that area exactly. Because it looks like there's some weird enemies I've never seen there before. So I'll have to come back and check that out later, I guess. But uh, he said southwest in this direction still. What the hell? It's not It's not just this, is it? This. I thought this was like can a cannon travel spot. But, okay, where am I right now? I'm pretty sure I've been here before. This will take me to Podos or Gaia's Naval. No Kakara or Ice Country. Okay, well that's something different then. Where am I? Is this the springtime seasons of sprung place it is? So I'm in the general right area. Just have to go for a little bit of a hike, I guess. Nemesis Owl. Because this is the area that I need to be in, I'm pretty sure. And then eventually if I just head up here. See, now's where I'm going to have to start remembering my way around this world. Because I'm probably going to have to start backtracking for stuff. Speaking of which, I still need to backtrack to guys and able for that whatever it was. Someone told me about something in God's Nail that I need to pick up, I think. Oh, uh, let's see here. There's my... my golden axe. There we go. You get out of here. Okay, so we're back in Matango now. Yeah, I guess I should have figured that you wouldn't be able to just land in a place like this. This is pretty well secluded. So I'm just gonna go ahead and head back to, uh... I guess the palace up here. Or the, whatever this is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you really call us the palace. It looks very kingly, so... Plus it is King Truffle himself. Here we go. How do you like riding Flammy? When you get lost up there, you use special powers. Press start to see the map. LR buttons to change modes. You'll find the lofty mountains to the southwest. What you seek is there. Is it me again, okay? Alright, so that's that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and officially end the episode. Uh, so thanks everyone for watching. Sorry for being such a, dumb, such a dumbass. I was just so overcome by excitement. I still sort of am. I'm still sort of jittery, believe it or not. It's just... So, it's so cool. I something about it. Okay, I'll, I'm sorry. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.